In today's video, we have a pile of vacuum cleaners. Inside these boxes, I think I just helped somebody else get rid of some bits they didn't want, should be three Electroluxes. I mean, we have some clues. I think there is a cylinder in here. Judging by the big hole in the top, we have some sort of upright contraption. Really don't know, but these boxes are getting in the way. It has to be unpacked, so I think it's time to have a look at what we've got. Yes, hello! My vacuum cleaner and Electrolux chums, how are you today? I'm also hoping that these things have survived because, and I know you're watching this. Oh, I don't know. I mean, this one's got a big hole in it anyway, so who knows? I guess it'll be okay. Maybe I'm just a paranoid one. Who knows? So, what is inside of box number one? Oh, I mean, I think he did tell me. I've got a rough idea, but not of the condition. And then, to be honest, I forgot anyway. And these have been sat here a week. It's been half term at the time of filming this. And I had my children for the first week. And these came literally on the Saturday morning. <sighs> it's half term stuff. Hey ho. So. But well, you immediately see a cylindrical device. Oh, lots of nice packaging material as well. And we have ourselves one of these replacement hose ends with no suction valve thing, which could be good, I guess. Ooh, we have ourselves, oh dear, we have ourselves a hose. I mean, it's a three lug hose, you know, should be happy to have it, I guess, if you have nothing else at all. Let's screw this badly onto there, like so, and complete ourselves and hose. Ooh. Have a very nice Electrolux 350 electronic. I mean, I've already got one of these. I'm not going to lie. I think most of these are going to be for sale eventually. We shall do the do, although actually this is spotless. This is Really, 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 really clean. That really needs a polish. It smells quite floral, but I mean, it's, you know, nothing in there. Who knows? Maybe I just take a fairly reasonable offer on it as it is. What is in here? Yeah, that is. I mean, you would class that as good, folks. This is a 40 year old vacuum cleaner. That is absolutely fine. Ooh, I spy a reasonably interesting plug. What do we have here? Oh, we have a British made Endura. Very nice. If you wonder why I show plugs off a lot, there's a vintage mains plugs enthusiast group on Facebook. And they can be quite interesting, really. This one's got a couple of little chips around it, but not too bad. We have the donuts. And the cord rewind is good. Now, I'm going to sort of roughly guess that perhaps these all go together and there's no floor tool, or the floor tool is elsewhere. But I guess we shall class that as vacuum number one and perhaps start on this big box. It seems to be a homemade box. It's a decent homemade box. It survived, and it survived with Hermie. So, I guess it's done its duty well and square. Maybe I'm just a fool for buying a bubble wrap and you know, being paranoid to heck that stuff's going to get broken, you know, it's always insured for the proper amount and blah 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 blah. Where is the last bit of tape? Come on, really? That's it. Just the rubbish tape I bought was that one. <laughs> it's empty, which is probably a good thing, but hey look, a tower RVL 30 plus. <laughs> it looks reasonably interesting, but you, you, know, you know it's not going to be brilliant. I guess it all depends on how much it costs. Oh, we, might, we might keep that to one side. Um, wow, there's a big old chunky piece of foam in here. I'm definitely going to keep that. But all that seems to be in this box is, and oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, already, an Electrolux 345. But can you spot what went wrong? Uh, um, 
Sadly, I know it probably went wrong here because there's some. Why is that dear? Oh no, here it is. Yeah. Uh, and until reasonably recently, I flipping had one of those as well and sold it. So there is no chance that I can repair that without full replacement. Who knows? This might be a scrapper. I think this is it. I mean, I'm never going to try and piece it back together. The best we're going to need is this piece here, which came. Oh no, look, that's only some of it. Yeah. <sighs> Oh dear. I mean, they were spared, half repaired anyway. I can't be too upset. They were free vacuum cleaners. Right, let's move on to the last box. Although, all the bits are there, and these bits as well. Look, I found the tip for that. I'm just keeping them in my hand because I will lose them forever. So, pff, might be okay. But yeah, certainly has confirmed the point that I was just referring to from him over there. But yeah. Bubble wrap people, these are notoriously hard to post. A very nice though, MK. Ooh, very good indeed. It's a later one because apparently these are a bit thinner and I've got one of those upstairs on the earlier ones, so that's fine. Hey, you're pretty sprightly. Excellent. I'm now going to go and put all of these parts, which are here, here, and here, into a little bag and then we'll crack on. On to box numero three, which hopefully won't have as much damage. I know it's a turbo two from the wide turbo two looking thing, but we can see through the hole, so I think that's going to be okay. Anyway, pop, tip, 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 pop, go, goodbye, you. I spy something brown and it's not the contents of my underpants after seeing that 345. Look, we have the automatic head. Oh, that's not bad. It's the bounce you've got to look out for. These things fill themselves with fluff. Look at that. That is, that is what you want to see. You can hear the bellows. That is most agreeable indeed. Right, we are missing a wheel cap from the wheel. So whether it's in here or not. Uh, oh, I nearly oh, broke it then. I don't quite know. But hello, another Turbo 2 Super. And immediately I am checking these because, blimey, I've broken these by being very careful with them in the past. And they are fly what in here. Wow. An incredibly overkill ever ready plug. I had one of these on the Apex blower for ages until it broke. So that's nice. And it's got filters, it's quite yellowed, very ah, and it's missing. Oh, it's missing at that part there, which is a bit of a bummer. But hey ho, we also have Hey, that's decent. I mean, don't have the original hose for the 345. That is never really a problem anyway, because it wouldn't be airtight even if we did. There's more in here though. We have our missing wheel cap. Very good indeed. Wow. Lots and lots and lots and lots of 345 dust bags and filters and all sorts. That's very nice indeed. Ah, uh, agreeable amount of the bags for 350 electronic as well right i think that's all the carnage out of the way let me see if these work eh? righty dokey let's start with this because i don't have any bags around for it and to be honest even if we went to all of the effort oh blimey this little notch here has to look one of these little holes and it's all off set here. Yeah. And if it did turn it on, it wouldn't make a difference anyway because I don't have one of those. And again, I think I've probably sold one from the bathrooms before, which is quite annoying, but I think I still have one in the shed. It's just not going to be right. Oh, what's underneath door number one? Well, we have ourselves an Electrolux twin turbo underneath the part, really. Ooh, but the brush strips are the same stiffness as my ones, because obviously I, I have a turbo too as well, and that's very nice indeed. Oh, I guess we best look at the ratings plate and then hopefully 
Mr. Steve from the Vintage Appliance Emporium can tell us what she is. 202, well that's 1992 though, isn't it? February 92, Mr. Steve, 202, and then there's the 1697th one ever made, Asterix. So, that's pretty cool. I think my ones are really, really, really late ones, so you have to get them together at some point, even though they're the same machine. Absolutely beautiful, nothing wrong with that. I never like these, I've always written them off before I'd even tried them, but now they are my favourite. And if this was a 1960s Electrolux Twin Turbo, it'd probably sound absolutely terrible. But because these are, you know, only 30 years old, rather than only 55 years old, they're holding up quite well. That is a pain in the bum though, but I'm sure we fix it. Right, let's have a look at the one that's been punched in the face. Oh, bless him. But I'm sure we can rebuild it. I'll be honest, I was expecting a bit of damage, but I was expecting it more on this top part. This filter cover is in fantastic condition. I've been, my one upstairs, I had to colour it in with the chrome pen. I very much might swap this around. Oh, what's in here? Oh, a brand new filter. Very nice. Indeed, this thing is clean. I don't mean, probably not going to need to take the top of it off. Look at that, that's very nice. You can always tell by how black and carbony it all is, but it's not too bad. Because otherwise you've got to drill out those four rivets there, and then there's two more somewhere. It's all just a pain. In fact, we'll leave that off while we roll it around and check that, ah, oh, yes, the wheel has fallen off. No, sorry, the tyre has fallen off of the wheel, and the fix for that is to... Well, you, you, you would have to buy a whole one, but you can use mirror wheel, you know, cylinder wheels. Clip straight in there. Here we go. She is a genuine Electrolux 345 from around that time period. And we're going to open this up. Oh, bless his little heart. Oh, I've, I've never seen a white one before always have been shiny metal. Does that mean something, folks? Do let me know. You know we've broken one of these before. So I'm actually going to leave it well alone because judging by the state of the post motor filter, and I can already see it, the inner filter is spotless and there is a brand new bag in the thing. So we're just going to leave that very much well alone. And put the post motor filter back in because hopefully the suppressor won't explode and we shall take his cable out plug him in and the lights on and someone's home and we still have suction because that is sealed into the bag so that's very good we have excellent suction on the broken one i think you'll be all right and i have everything I need with these three parts here to make him look really good. So I think we're going to fix that. I mean, it's it's going to take a bit of work and I've got to try and get rid of that bit somehow. It could be a bit bent. It should be fine. If not, I'll probably just have to find an entire new front end. But this is certainly very, very good and worth keeping. So have a look at the oh, pretty much brand new looking Electrolux 350E. Onto the middle aged of our three vacuum cleaners, and it is plugged in. Oh, hello. Oh, stinks of something floral. I think, yeah, it's got bumbly bones. I think there's a lot of carpet freshener for it, and that you know, delayed start is not normal but maybe it's just not been run for ages it probably did get the absolute crud kicked out of it in shipping but it's probably okay now oh. ah. well, the hose is a good effect oh very nice indeed 
that is very stiff there. Although on mine, I did it back to front. So, low is high. Oh, that's a bit. I just heard the fan wobble there. I'm going to leave that be because, bless it, that motor will clean up okay if it doesn't get any worse than that. That's just a tired, dry motor. And it's had more than its fair share of disgusting car through freshening gunk through it. So there we go. That was pretty cool. That is what was taking up an enormous amount of space in my front room. We've had a bit of everything as well. We've had a nice little lesson in how to package your 345. I'll tell you what as well, for anybody else thinking about it, underneath these two are Phillips screws. If you take those out, this bit loosens up enough that this whole front part just lifts off. If you're posting one of these, please do that. This bit then gets smaller, wrap it in bubble wrap, wrap this in bubble wrap, done. You've got more of a chance of it surviving. But we got the 70s, I think, 80s and 90s, which is pretty cool indeed. All three of them should live again, and I, I don't really want to keep them. So feel free to shout at me if you would like them. And if I've still got them, by the time this video goes up, I shall let you know. But comment down below which one is your favorite. Oh, I think mine's the 350. It's just a bit short. Having daily both, this is quite long, you know, especially with its cloth hose. Turn it around. This is just shorter and can spin a bit more easily. But, you know, let me know down below. But until the next box of electrical oddities, I, and hopefully maybe these three, unless they sell pre-refurb, will see you soon. Bye-bye.